Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Minecraft creation. Friends, today we're going to make an Enderman, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so once again, we need to thank Jack for creating these, and then I'm just playing with his. Friends, we always start with a cube. When you bring it out, hold down shift, shrink it a little, and then type the number five, because this whole project is built on the five by five cube. Now, we're gonna add a technique today. We're gonna do a radius of two, and we're gonna do steps of one. And what this does is it allows us to 3D print these and have a little texture. I am gonna make it black, and then let's fit view with the letter F. And you can see there is our little cube. I like to set them on a corner so that way they're lined up for later. And then friends, switch to a five millimeter nudge. Do control D, control over, and boom, you've got two chunks. We need four, so we're gonna do control D with those two selected. And bam, that is the first row of a leg. So if we select from here to here and check the height, it says 111, so that makes me think it needs to be 110. So for dividing by 5, that means we need 22 of these. So let's do Control D and then Control Up, and it moves up one block. So we're making 22, so right there is 2. This is Control D, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, so here's a way to check to see if we're at the same height. I am going to do work plane and set it on top. And let's see. And friends, look at that. It slices right through at the exact spot. So we've just built one leg. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. Let's do control D and let's nudge that over one, two, three, four. And boom, both legs are complete. Friends, the arms are the same size, so we're going to do Control D. And this time we're going to move three clicks, so there's a gap of one. This arm needs to be 50 higher than the rest. So if you select it all, hold down Control and Shift, and hit the up arrow, it'll instantly raise up the exact amount that we need. We can then do Control D. And then if we just nudge it across, once you've got it lined up with the first leg, you can do one, two, three, and boom, both of your arms are now in place. The Enderman's body comes out two chunks to the front and it connects to the arm. Let's fit view on this block right here. And then we're just gonna do control D and control up to raise it up. We know that it has to go one chunk over and it has to come two chunks forward. And then we need to build that all the way across. We can do that by clicking on it separate doing control D, nudging one over, and then do control D all the way across until it reaches. So that is the first row of the body. I'm going to look at it from the side so it's easy to grab just that section. And I'm going to do control D, and I'm going to nudge it back one, let go of everything and do control D, and then I need two more behind so that he is two past on each side. Now I want to make them hollow. So I'm going to do that with some sweet trickeration. Click on one of your blocks, do a fit view, click the word front so you're looking at it nice and straight, zoom back a little, and then try and grab just that row. So notice these edges, I'm just barely touching them, and I'm trying to not touch the edge of that going up and down. If you've got 48 shapes, you did it right. You can know that's right because this is 6 times 8, which is 48. One of my favorite parts of this project was I got to hear Jack actually doing the math ahead of the time when he was looking at creating one of these projects. So with the 48 selected, I'm going to do Control D and I'm going to do Control Up. Now I know I want to delete this middle stuff. The fastest way is probably just to do Shift Select and delete them. Shift Select and delete them. Once you get used to it, you'll see that you miss a couple sometimes, but this is a pretty effective way to get them all selected and to hollow it out so as your project gets larger, it doesn't get more difficult. Now, this stops at the same height as the arm. So, I'm going to get an angle where I'm just touching those again, making sure I did not touch that. Now it says 24 because all of those cut out. Control D and Control up. And now we can do Control D again until we get to the height where the head's going to be. Just like that. Now, friends, let's add the head. 
Once again, I'm going to select this row right here and do Control D. I'm going to do Control Up. I'm going to move it one further out because the head comes one further. I missed these two over here. I'm going to just fix it by doing Control D and doing the arrow and then Control D. So I'm just manually fixing the parts I missed. I'm going to real quickly do Control D on these eight. And let's use the arrow keys to just nudge them back. Remember, we go one past. And then this time, I'm going to fill in this chunk with a Control D nudge, Control D, 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 D. So it's just about as fast as our trickeration once you get the hang of how to build like this. All right, friends, so let's grab this whole row. Make sure you're looking at it straight. And let me show you this little trick. If we hide these, it's super simple to make sure that we only grab this row. Notice it says 28, and we're doing 3, 6, 7. So there's Control D, Control Up. That's 2, 3 with a Control D, Control D4, Control D5, Control D6, Control D7. Show all, and boom, our Enderman does exist. Let's find the eyeballs. We need to go up three blocks, and we're going to do pink, and we're going to do pink. And then these I'll do even faster by holding down shift click and pink. And then inside, I'm going to do shift click and shift click. And let's find purple. Friends, just like that, an Enderman, you, you can see Jack probably had a cooler pink than I did. But the point is, we have just created a sweet Enderman in just a few steps. I do need to fill in his head. Let's do that real quick by doing shift click. Notice when we've got six, we can do control D, do that nudge over, let go and do control D again and again and again. And now our hollow Enderman is complete. So friends, I hope you're having a ton of fun with this. I am seeing students in my classroom all the time, finding pixel art projects and turning them into Tinkercad projects. It has been a ton of fun. And if you ever choose to do something similar, don't forget you can hit this little button, collaborate with me by generating a link, copying the link, and then share it with me. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can find me on all of them at HLModTech. You can also reach out to me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCAD. If those don't work for you, you can also find me at hlmodtech.com. I have got the amazing Tinkercad page with all the cool lessons that we do. And then I've also got the sweet messaging app that you can fill out and reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I want to send a shout out to Jack. Thank you so much for creating these, and I hope you guys are having a blast. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.